Hey, what's up everybody, it's Ivan here and I am not coming at you from a spaceship because it's a kitchen. It's like a spaceship. Kitchen. What? And I'm coming at you from a kitchen because what better place to learn some new cool open CV stuff there is, you know, uh, than kitchen, I don't know. So in this video we're going to talk about something like really, really cool because we're going to talk about uh, like how we can take slices of images and images being empire race so and how we can like do some cool cropping of images or like even you know like disable the entire like you know color channels uh at will by 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 like one line of code you know you know how kind of like when you know we have lists in python right you know i have like a food list here with like through like a bunch of food that i know uh here and if we like print the food list you know it'll give us the, the list and we can take the slice which means that we can you know we can kind of like access you know the first element or like you know the last or like second last element right or we can take a slice but right we can say like give us all the elements on that list from the zero one to say uh say like the third and it's not going to include the third so it's going to be like zero one two uh no so that, and it'll give us from onions to milk, right? And the same, you know, the same type of, you know, taking slices actually works on images that are, you know, three-dimensional NumPy arrays, essentially, right? Because, you know, remember that the colored image in OpenCV, you know, it's in BGRs, so, you know, we got the dimensions, right? We got the width. No, we got the height, which is like the first dimension, right? Which is like the rows, it's height. And the second dimension is like width. And the third is like depth. And the main difference, you know, when we're like taking a slice of a Python list, right? Is that it's fine that it's like it's, like it's one dimensional. You no, know, sounds almost like an insult, but it's true, you know, Python lists, you're like one dimensional. But images, colored images especially, uh, are three-dimensional and like grayscale images are two-dimensional so when we want to take a slice a specific slice say uh, of 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 you know a colored image right L like you know like the image here we gotta kind of define the slice along the three dimensions so you know for instance if we uh, and it's better to show in a, in a, and I'll like show you in, a, in like a moment what I mean uh, but you know we can actually like, yeah, yeah let me kind of show it. first of all you know same thing as in Python if I define the slice to be the entire thing you know that if I just put the column there you know it'll be it'll basically like print the entire thing so let me go into like the code so it's basically the code from the previous video where we launched the webcam and when I popped the webcam, you know, it's just, you know, just the webcam, you know, I used two webcams, the external one records me in OBS and this is my, like my laptop's webcam. Now, as you can kind of see, you know, I'm already kind of doing some crapping with the method that I'm going to, you know, talk with you today about here to make the my laptop's webcam kind of like, you know, the same type of like have it have like the same type of you know basically height and width as the uh my external webcam so you no know, say frame will equal to frame as if i say like frame will equal to frame uh you know just put a column here you know it'll just be the same thing you know i'm not doing any crap however like right you know how can we uh access you know how can we like take slices along like all the dimensions and the difference here is that you know we put here like a column for the dimension of height and we put a column for the dimension of like width and put the column for the dimension of like the channels so mm, you know and 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 if we just leave like one column here you'll assume that you know we're just referring to the height and if we put like two columns you know, it'll be like, you know, we can work with height and width. You no, know, so like we don't always have to have, you know, the exact amount of columns that the uh, amount of dimensions is to make it work, if, if that 
you know, make sense. And hopefully if it doesn't, it'll start making sense uh, sooner than later. So, you know, say we wanna, say we wanna, you know, take, and it's super cool. Like it's, it's, it's really cool. You know, like say we wanna, you know, like get that, I don't know, say we wanna get that cinematic look and, you know, crap the image to be, you know, crap like the, along the y-axis, along the height axis, you know, we wanna like crop the top part and like the bottom part, like basically, you know, crop like a bunch of pixels there. Uh, how can we do that? You know, we can say along the height axis, you know, take the slice, so like ignore the first 50 pixels and then, you know, ignore the, fir the last 50 pixels. So it'll be like, you know, uh, it'll be basically like, uh, mm, you know, a slice which is from you know we take starts so like you know we, we would normally start somewhere here say but like we you know uh, make that stretch for 50 pixels and for 50 pixels here so we're kind of like defining like those boundaries uh, where we start and so if I now launch the code you know we can see that the you know the the the, 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 the height kind of like shrunk and you know it the, the image appears to be like more rectangular now, more like, you know, widthy, because it, you know, got less height here. And we can say, you know, crop, you know, 100 from, from, from the 100 pixels from the top and, uh, you no, know, still, you know, leave it at like, stop. You know, it's kind of like we're saying that like, uh, take the entire like height dimension and redefine it as starting from the like 100 pixel and ending at like minus 50 pixels and so like now like this thing is like the new uh kind of like uh the new height dimension that we get right uh and if i like launch the code now you know it'll be even more you know widthy and like shorter essentially along the like height so and as you may have guessed right uh you know we can do kind of the same thing uh, the same thing along the along the height so we can say you know start from the 200 pixel uh say you know use like a different color here so we can we can say like you know redefine the width dimension to start from the like 200 pixel right and and like and that somewhere you know say you know minus 30 let's go like minus 30 so and it'll be like you know here, like minus 30 pixel and so now this will be like the high dimension. Now it will be like some weird rectangle. Yeah, right. You know, uh, that's that's how it goes. So I mean that's pretty straight, straightforward, and that you know hopefully it makes sense. Uh, by the way, we can pretty much you know, and we'll get to taking slices of uh, of the color challenge in just a moment. But you may be kind of wondering, right? Mm, like. Like, you know, like, like, you know, if we, you know, and let me, you know, take the full slice along the width axis. So let's leave it here at like nice, you know, along the height axis at like from uh, 50 pixels down to minus 50 pixels is, you know, say like the range that we want to, uh, you know, take along the height axis. And say we want to uh, give it like that, you know, cinematic effect where, you know, at the top and at the bottom of the image we got like those, you know, black rectangles thing is. So, as if, as you've seen right now, we're kind of like cropping the image. And what if, you know, what if we don't want to crop the image as much as we want to, uh, as much as we want to like, you know, have those parts be black, you know, how can we do that? So the way we can get that, that, you know, actual cinematic effect, right? Is that, you know, we don't need to like get rid of those parts that are, uh, that are, you know, that are basically, you know, between the 0th and the 50th pixel and between the minus 50th and the max pixel, right? We wanna, we wanna make them to be, you know, black. We wanna paint them to be in the color black. So, instead of redefining the whole frame to not include them, what we can do is to say uh, frame and working with the height axis, because it's, you know, again, the first one. You can say the height from, you know, the... the zero pixel to 50th pixel uh will equal to uh will equal to basically 
uh, and p array and zero 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 and now if i launch the code we'll have like this black stripe appear here because we've, we've now instead of like you know cropping the 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 you know the the you know the this part of the image we, we kind of paint black right and we can do basically then the same thing with uh with uh you know frame from uh from from minus 50th pixel and here we kind of got to define it in terms of I guess from the minus 50th pixel to minus first I think that should do the trick uh, to do, to do, to do. and by the way you know I'm putting here you know NP array because you know that would just be a Python list and but converting into an NP array allows us to actually paste that into an NP array you know that makes sense and so now if I do this, okay, as you can see, it actually crapped everything, but there's like a little one pixel line that I didn't get. So uh, how can we get that that small, you know, line? And so, yeah, what we can do instead is that we can, uh, you know, take the shape of the frame, like say height with, with depth to be, you know, frame, mm, frame shape. Yep. And we can say, go from the minus 50th pixel down to uh down to its height right yep and now uh yeah and and and, and now you know and now you know we were actually able to fill the whole like uh you know bottom part of the image with the black color and and obviously we can do the, the same thing you know by the sides and you know uh but there's something cooler that we can do actually. So uh, once we, you know, say have done that, yeah. But what happens if we like change the slices on the color channels? And that's kind of more interesting, right? Uh, what happens if we say, you know, frame, right? And high dimension, width dim dimension. Like what happens if we start playing with the color dimensions, right? Like, have we thought about it? No, and let's start. Let's let's do something and, re and remember like a an item along the width and the height you know it'll have three pixels for colors but you know if we're working with something on the level of redefining something on the level of colors uh, right we can just put here put here like a number so what if we say that we take the entire blue channel which is like you know BGR so we take the zero channel and we make it equal zero. Well, like what let's see what we'll get bound the entire image goes yellow and if you think about it like what happens when you mix green and green and red if you kind of get color the the yellow color and if you remove you know from the bizarre image in this case the blue color you know all the colors that get get mixed are green and red and by the virtue of that you know the image turns kind of like yellow but you know, let's say, you know, let's say we want to, let's say we want to like give it like that, you know, I don't know, like aggressive feel and make it all red. You know, the way we can do that is actually by, by just, by just, you know, disabling the green channel also. So we, you know, if it's a BGR image and we disable the green, blue and green channel, right, uh, the image will kind of be like real red. So will essentially say that the you know the entire slice along the uh like like like, like you know like this thing sort of like it's the slice along the the you know the blue channel now we do the slice along the green channel and we make it all like equal zero and what we get is like this super super rad image right so it looks like super rad and rad i guess also uh, by 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 design, I would say, and uh, you know, that's one thing that you can do is to like play around with color channels. And now you know everything is like red because there are no other co color ch channels you know left. And so, if if the pixel value is zero, then it's black, and if the pixel value is you know as it gets closer to two fifty five, which is like the brightest it can get. You know it gets as red as possible now uh, 
let's, you know, let's try to combine a few things here. What if we say that we take the, like, what if we, uh, you know, mm, what if we kind of like, so we can do something funny here. So what if I comment out like the, the cinematic stuff? And what if we say, you know, take that, uh, essentially disable the blue channel, but only do that along the, along the like uh, high dimensions from zero to 50, right? Uh, and then from minus 50 to height and kind of like apply different effects there. And like, we can do that. And it'll give us like, you see like, you know, sort of like this part got rid of the blue channel. So we got the yellowish effect and this part you got rid of the green channel. And so red and blue mix, you now we get kind of like that purple color. And, you know, we can, we can, you know, and we can obviously uh, not just, you know, not just do that. We can say, and so now say we want to like, you know, disable the blue channel and the green channel, but we want to do that, you know, not just along the uh, Y axis, not along the height, right? But, you know, along also the width axis, you know, how can we do that? And also it's like super simple, you know, we'll get intuitively like sort of a square with that, but you know, we can say, you know, take, uh, essentially, you know, make the blue channel zero from the from 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 the hundreds to minus hundred pixel along the width axis then this the same thing along the you know uh along the it's the height axis and then the same thing along the width axis and then also you know take the slice from the uh hundred pixel along the y, uh, y axis the the height axis and uh, the same sort of slice along the, you know, width axis. It's a lot of axes. It's like my brain's one giant axis after saying all this. So yeah, we get this kind of like nice rectangle here. And, you know, as you can see, you know, you can play around with this stuff a lot, but, you know, and this, you know, we learned quite a bit today. Like it's it's an entire like an, it's like an entire effect in Premiere Pro, say to you know crop something, right? Or like in any other like soft software that like edits videos. And now you know how to do that in OpenStreet. You can like crop your image to like get rid of its parts, or or you can you know make a part of your image you know a certain color, or you can even like in a certain area of the image, like here you can disable the color channels, and we can like. Uh, you know, disable some other combination of color channels. So if we do this, you know, it turns like all green because we disabled blue and the red channel. So it's kind of like all greenish now. It, it, yeah, I think it's like super important stuff. And especially it's going to be important where when we learn in the next video, you know, how to paste an image into image because that's going to be like all about slices. So, so I hope that you enjoyed this video about slices and numpy arrays and where that can be applied. It's going to be super useful in the next video and I hope you guys are staying safe. If you like this, you know, smash that like button, please. If you also enjoyed it, you can consider subscribing to the channel. And if you wanna support new ways to do that are in the description down below, but you know, above all, thank you for watching and I hope you are, you know, staying safe and uh, i hope you're you know doing amazing so bye-bye so, oh and also the code will be on github for these videos now so you know you can find the link in the, in the description so yeah bye-bye